heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so I'm on boxing scene right here, man. Kind of late on this. Uh, seen a few people talking about this yesterday, but Pavekin versus Christian Hammers in play for December 15th. Um, if you look at the WBO rankings, I, if you go by those rankings, the fight makes sense. Hammers rated number two. He has the WBO European title. Pavekin is rated number seven. He has the WBO international title, I believe, that him and uh, Radinko fought for. Um, so I guess this kind of, I seen Shannon Briggs come out, was it last month? And according to him, and I did a video about it, he was saying that uh, his team and Pavekin team were in talks. So I guess they're leaning more towards Christian Hammer. Um... Style-wise, I think it's a good fight. It's a fight where Pavekin, he won't have to go looking for Christian Hammer unless Christian Hammer comes in there and fights a totally different fight, but he likes to come forward. I've seen Hammer get hit with good shots. Seen him, you know, he's lost his, you know, he lost some fights. Seen him get stopped viciously by Wok. Uh, Price dropped him. He got up to eventually stop Price. Um, he has two decent wins that stand out, the Price and Tepper victories. Fights that he was not uh, the favorite going into the fights. Although I thought those fights were 50-50 type of fights. Um, let's just look up his uh, box rec really quick. Then he picked up a fight in May of this year. Yeah, he had the Price fight. Uh, the Tepper fight. And that Michael Sprott, I actually did a um, a review of 2016. The top 10 uh, KO wins of 2016 i actually had the hammer ko over sprott in there that was a vicious knockout i know it's in past prime sprott but i'm saying just the way he did it the way he was able to knock him out like that was pretty impressive first round knockout um and then he beat you know, like i said he beat tepper and price then he picked up a win in may of this year so yeah man if he fights uh Pavekin, i think it'd be a decent fight it'd be better than the fights that i was hearing I was hearing guys like, uh, who was the guy? Was it BJ Flores, I think, said he wanted to fight Pavekin? Which is fine if he wants to fight him, but it's not. That wouldn't have been a fight. You know what I mean? We would have been uh, clamoring for it, man. So, Hammer versus uh, Pavekin, I don't mind the fight. Like I said, it makes sense for the WBO. And uh, I'm wondering how they're going to, if this fight comes about, if it does take place, how they're going to do this fight. Will it be a title eliminator, being that both guys are rated so high? And both guys have minor WBO titles. I would assume it would be some type of title eliminator um, for that Joseph Parker strap. But we'll see what happens. Uh, when it's made official, I'll do more style breakdowns. But like I said, just going off the top of the head, just both guys, uh, like I said, Pavekin won't have to go looking for him. I think it'll end by knockout because Hammer, this guy likes to come forward. You know what I mean? And he will get up. You know, I've seen him get dropped and get up before. Um Think Pavekin, you know, overhand rights, overhand lefts, and short uppercuts on the inside. I think it'd be too much for Hammer. But uh, we will see, though. We will see. You guys been thinking in the comment section? I'm out.